in the small, quiet town of Ravenswood, an eerie tale unfolded that sent shivers down the spines of its residents. It all began with the ordinary pregnancy of Emily Thompson, a young woman who had eagerly anticipated the arrival of her first child. However, as the months passed, it became evident that there was something unnatural about this pregnancy. Emily's belly swelled to an alarming size, far beyond the normal proportions for a nine-month pregnancy. Concerned, the local doctors conducted numerous tests, but none could explain the abnormal growth. The baby, it seemed, refused to leave the safety of its mother's womb. As the days turned into weeks and then months, the situation became increasingly bizarre. Rumors spread like wildfire through the tight-knit community, and soon, the town was abuzz with chilling stories of the unborn child that continued to grow within Emily's womb. Some whispered that it was a curse, while others believed it was a malevolent force at play. Emily herself was confined to her home, her once bright eyes now clouded with fear and pain. The doctors were baffled, unable to comprehend the mysterious circumstances surrounding Emily's pregnancy. Desperation led them to propose a risky surgery to remove the baby forcibly, fearing for both Emily's life and the sanity of the townsfolk. The operation room was filled with an air of trepidation as the medical team prepared for the procedure that would uncover the source of this unnatural pregnancy. As Emily lay on the operating table, the pale glow of surgical lights casting an otherworldly hue upon her, the doctors began the incision. To their horror, the baby's growth had become intertwined with Emily's organs, forming an almost symbiotic connection. The surgeon struggled in vain to free the child from its unyielding grasp on its mother's insides. The atmosphere in the operating room grew tense as the realization set in that they were dealing with a force beyond their understanding. The baby, though never having taken its first breath, seemed to resist any attempts to sever its ties to Emily's body. As the doctors delved deeper, their instruments met an unexpected resistance, as if cutting through an otherworldly substance. Days turned into nights, and the operation stretched on, taking an increasing toll on Emily's frail body. Her once vibrant spirit was now replaced with a hollow gaze that seemed to pierce through the realms of the unknown. The town, once buzzing with speculation, now stood still in an unsettling silence, awaiting news from the operating room. The surgeons, their faces etched with exhaustion and disbelief, eventually conceded defeat. The baby, though never having seen the light of day, remained an indomitable force within Emily's womb. The news spread like wildfire, casting a shadow over Ravenswood that would linger for generations. In the years that followed, the legend of Emily Thompson and her unborn child became a cautionary tale, a reminder of the mysteries that lurk in the shadows of our understanding. Ravenswood, once a haven of peace, became a place haunted by the chilling specter of a baby that refused to leave its mother's womb, a grotesque reminder of the boundaries between life and the unknown. The curse of Emily Thompson and her unborn child seemed to extend beyond the confines of her tragic tale. Strange occurrences plagued Ravenswood after that fateful night. Residents reported hearing the faint cries of an infant echoing through the empty streets, even though there was no baby to be found. Some claimed to have glimpsed a shadowy figure, a spectral silhouette resembling an unborn child, wandering through the moonlit alleys. As the years passed, the town sank into a palpable sense of dread. Locals spoke in hushed tones about the cursed child, warning their children not to play near Emily's old home, now abandoned and condemned. The once thriving community became a ghost town its former vibrancy replaced by a heavy atmosphere of fear and superstition. Every so often, a brave soul would attempt to enter Emily's dilapidated house, seeking answers or closure. However, none returned in scathe. Whispers of unseen forces, ghostly apparitions, and inexplicable phenomena surrounded those who dared to step into the domain of the cursed child. Ravenswood's darkest secret was not contained within the confines of Emily's tragedy. It was as if the curse had seeped into the very foundations of the town, staining it with an indelible mark of horror. Locals spoke of bizarre weather patterns, strange celestial alignments, and a perpetual sense of unease that hung in the air like an unshakable fog. The once thriving community now stood as a somber testament to the relentless grip of the supernatural. The curse of Emily's unborn child continued to cast its shadow, enveloping Ravenswood in an eerie stillness that defied the natural order of things. Those who remained in the town could feel the weight of the unborn child's presence an ever-present reminder of the thin veil that separated the living from the realm of the unknown. Whispers of the curse reached far beyond Ravenswood, attracting the attention of paranormal investigators and thrill-seekers alike. Stories of the town's haunted history spread like wildfire, drawing curious souls to its desolate streets. However, none who ventured into Ravenswood could escape the ominous aura that permeated the air, 
and many left with tales of inexplicable encounters and restless nights haunted by the spectral cries of a baby that never drew breath. The legend of Emily Thompson and her unborn child became etched into the annals of horror, a cautionary tale of the consequences that unfold when the boundaries between life and death are blurred. Ravenswood, now a forsaken relic of its former self, stood as a chilling reminder that some curses endure long after the last echoes of a tragic tale have faded away. As the years passed, Ravenswood became a place avoided by travelers, its dilapidated buildings standing as a stark testament to the lingering curse that gripped the town. The legend of Emily Thompson's unborn child became the focal point of countless chilling tales passed down through generations. One fateful night, a group of paranormal investigators arrived in Ravenswood, drawn by the allure of the supernatural. They were armed with cameras, electronic devices, and a sense of skepticism that quickly waned as they crossed the town's invisible threshold. The air grew heavy, and an unsettling quiet settled over the investigators as they ventured deeper into the heart of Ravenswood. Their path led them to the decaying remnants of Emily's home, the once vibrant structure now a decaying shell. The investigators cautiously entered, their footsteps echoing through the empty halls like whispers of the past. As they explored the dilapidated rooms, the temperature dropped, and an otherworldly chill filled the air. Suddenly, the group was enveloped in darkness, their flashlights flickering and casting long shadows on the walls. Whispers echoed through the desolate corridors, and the sound of a distant baby's cry sent shivers down their spines. Panic set in as they realized they were not alone in the haunted house. A faint light emanated from the room that had once been Emily's bedroom. As the investigators cautiously approached, the spectral figure of a woman materialized before them. Emily Thompson stood, her eyes hollow and expression eternally pained. Without uttering a word, she pointed towards the old crib in the corner of the room. The investigators, gripped by an otherworldly compulsion, approached the crib. Within its tattered confines lay the spectral form of a baby, eyes wide open but forever silent. The cursed child's presence was both heartbreaking and terrifying, a manifestation of a life that never had a chance to be. In a chilling whisper, Emily's voice echoed through the room, recounting the tragic tale of her unborn child. The investigators, paralyzed by a mixture of fear and empathy, listened as she revealed the heart-wrenching truth behind the curse. The child, denied the chance at life, was trapped in a liminal space between the realms of the living and the dead. As the investigators left Ravenswood, they carried with them the weight of the cursed child's story. The town, still gripped by an otherworldly force, remained trapped in a perpetual state of haunted desolation. The legend of Emily Thompson and her unborn child persisted, a cautionary tale whispered in the dark corners of the paranormal community. Ravenswood, forever marked by the tragedy that unfolded within its borders, served as a grim reminder that some stories are not meant to be forgotten. The curse endured, an indomitable force that lingered like a ghostly echo, ensuring that the town's chilling tale would continue to be told, generation after generation. Like, subscribe, and click on notifications that will allow you to stay up to date with the news and not miss videos from the channel, where there will be many more horror stories.